go to in the backyard. Little snow left, not much. And uh, soon it's gonna be all gone. Happy about that, definitely. So, with that said, I am itching to get out in the woods and start mushroom hunting. Because I don't just paint mushrooms, I also go foraging for them. Maybe, maybe, I should do a little episode about finding mushrooms. I don't know. This is an art channel, and I do a lot of things, but maybe some of you would like that. So why don't you comment below if you would love to see a foraging video or two, um, along with all the other things I do creatively and stuff. So um, with that said, today, 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 we are talking about drawing mushrooms. And I wanna talk about how to draw with color pencil on black paper. Yes, you heard me right. We will be drawing a morel mushroom on black paper. And I'll tell you why I like to draw in color pencil on black paper along with this. Let's see if I succeed as good as painting. It's a different medium, so it's gonna be different. Different vibe. I'm gonna keep it nice and sketchy, loose, energetic, and hopefully soon I will be out in the woods looking for them again. Cool, let's go. Welcome to the studio, Doug Pexa here, artist. Today, I'm bringing out my colored pencils. Just a small set, basic colors. Uh, these are the color soft varieties of the Derwent. And I'm going to do a drawing with them on black paper. Why black paper? Well, you'll see how vibrant those colors turn out on black paper instead of white paper. And what am I gonna draw? You might guess it might be similar to what I've been doing a lot of lately, and that's, I don't know if you can quite see it, but morel mushrooms. It's a nice challenging thing, and I thought it might look really cool. Color pencil, black paper. So. Let's uh, get into the studio and do some drawing. Welcome to the voiceover. So yes, I really like drawing on black paper with colored pencils. Why? Because I really feel that the uh, colored pencil does best on black paper. As you can see, as I start sketching out uh, the morel mushroom and getting some just general idea of where I want negative space here, uh, the the yellow really pops, and most of the colors really pop. And I'm just putting down a very light layer right now, just to get shapes and forms um, going. As I'm drawing, I'm thinking about layering the colored pencils. Uh, it's something that really enhances the pencil. You don't need a whole 128 kit pencil because you can mix colors by layering them. And if you're using good colored pencils, AKA not too waxy, you can get a lot of layers onto uh, the paper, especially a good paper like the Stratmore uh, paper here that I'm using. Um, it has a bit of a tooth, so it really holds in um, and holds the color and allows you to really get uh, a nice layering effect and um, so it's not just a flat, flat image.
again, uh, just lightly sketching in the more detailed sections of the mushroom now. Um, um, I'm using yellow for this because I kind of wanted highlights, but I don't want the high highlights right away. So I'm switching between the whites, going back in where, where I feel like the highlights of this mushroom are going to be. And I am leaving a lot of the black in the shadow areas because we'll go back into those and uh, start filling different colors, darker colors. Um, uh, and I'll actually use some, some cool colors to kind of make the feeling of, of the cool shadowed areas of the mushroom here. This technique works well with other tone papers, whether it's light toned browns, greens, blues. Uh, you can get all sorts of colors. Uh, uh, Stratmore and I, I believe uh, Canson make packets of multiple different color papers that you can draw from. The, this uh, specific paper that I have right here, I cut down from a big sheet that I bought. Um, uh, most art stores uh, will have loose leaf paper that are like 20 by 30 or, or some, some uh, dimension like that in inches. But you can see how, how the colors are just jumping off the page here. Uh, I'm going back and forth with uh, some orangish browns, browns, and uh, magentas right now for kind of that mid-tone color. Uh, this is kind of opposite of how I work in, in just like regular pencil. I'd be working, figuring out where the shadows are and building the shadows up. This technique, it's all about finding the highlights and then pushing back on the shadows. Uh, another key to drawing on black paper is leaving some of the black uh, shine through in the shadows, whereas if you're drawing in graphite, you definitely want to be thinking the other way around where you build up the darks and leave some of the white paper. Um, Unfortunately, colored pencils are a little less forgiving, so sometimes you have to take a razor blade and scratch out some of that area to give a little tooth back to uh, layers of color pencil that you want to put on. Um, this mushroom I'm definitely thinking about negative space, keeping it really sketchy, kind of cross-hatchy, where I'm putting different layers and different colors over each other to have this kind of hazy, fuzzy, beautiful, uh, sketchy, uh, mark-making look to it, adding details, bringing out just some of those beautiful warm colors, uh, but keeping some of the background a little more muted, allowing, again, that black to stay behind there. Um, so I hope this gives you some ideas. And I hope you try to do some of this yourself. Comment below if you have tried it and if uh, what you think about it. All right. So the final product is right here. Nice little quick video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you go try doing some drawings with color pencil? On black paper. A uh, little bit about this black paper. It's, uh, I think it's uh, Stratmore black paper. It's a little heavier tooth. Um, it's great to draw with. You can find this in any good quality art store. You might not find it at Dick's or not to Blick. I said Dick's. Whatever. You know what I mean. Or one of those other big box stores, um, but your local guys should probably have a good selection of high quality paper. And you can do this technique with other toned paper also, which you can find in a variety of packs, similar kind of paper. Try it. Have you ever used colored pencil on black paper or other toned paper? If you did, let me know what 
you thought about it. I'd really like to know. And uh, I promise the next couple of pieces will not be of mushrooms. There's a lot coming. I've got a couple of canvases right there ready to go. So we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and